A new school year is beginning tomorrow, September 1st. Our correspondent, Tennis Samuel, spoke with a representative of the Bitarim organization, which promotes child safety, about how to have our children travel to and from school in safety. Bitarim, the National Center for Children's Health and Safety, is a nonprofit organization whose mission is to create a safe world for children in Israel. As the school year begins, Bitarim wishes to remind parents that there is much to be aware of on the way to and from school. The greatest danger is, of course, all the cars around the, um, the school and, and children that are uh, crossing the street alone. Children crossing the street alone is a widespread phenomenon as many parents feel their kid is grown up enough. Even if you feel they're responsible, Bitarim demands that you do not allow them to cross alone early. People should know that until the age of nine, children cannot walk without uh, an escort for, of uh, an adult. They have to walk to to be accompanied by an adult. While the need to buckle up in a car is widely known, it sometimes seems when it comes to a bus, that's less important. In Israel, the law now makes sure that won't be the situation. In Israel, we have uh, uh, a mandatory law that requires that in every school bus there is safety belt. So it's very important that children will be belted, buckled up in these uh, um, seat belts. Bitarim, affiliated with the American Safe Kids Organization, has joined an international project called I Walk to School. Walking is healthy and it's environment friendly and also it's it's more safe because if children are walking we have less vehicles around the, the school surrounding and less injuries uh, so we have a walking school bus which means uh, a, a, par a parent or an adult is uh, accompanying five or seven children to school um, the adult is the driver and the children are being picked up from their houses, so this, these are the, the bus stops. 